channel and today I have a very special guest. Cindy Rella OG! Oh my god, oh my god, it's Cindy Rella OG! Anyway. I was rude. See how she treats me? When I get old, she's gonna put me in retirement. I'm screaming, but. Talking about what we learned our freshman year of college. She's not a freshman, she's gonna be a senior actually. You're not a freshman either. And neither am I gonna okay. be a junior. We chose two different paths. I chose the community college route. She chose straight into university. I would say my first year in college was actually very, very depressing because Same. going yeah, going to community college, you're you're not with your friends. All your friends are out of the state or out of the um, city, you know, they're in big universities and you're kind of here, you know, trying to find your way still. I think that's what I faced. Like, my and to day. jump off of that, mm -hmm. I was at a different school where I didn't know many people, people. so it was hard to make friends for me because I was like in that like transition period where I was trying to find myself seeing if I need to change my personality so that people would like me. No, no I was, I was. That was, that was the kind of phase I was in. So um, I try to be super nice to everybody um, going into college that annoyed people, didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I, really? I, I, Actually, when people are too nice, it overwhelms me. No, I'm like, like, I was kind of nice that, oh, you can't pay for your food, I'll pay for you. Oh, like, people take like, advantage. So, yeah, people take advantage. Don't let of, people take advantage of you. Yeah, like, yeah. Not everybody's your friend. Not everybody is your friend. I learned that very, very fast, you know. Very, very fast. I don't feel like, okay, I'm in a new place that I need to be everybody's friend because that's not how it works. Like, it's not by force. All you need is a really good, solid, like, small group. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's about trial and error, to be honest, because um, the people that I was first friends with when I got into college, I'm, I don't even speak to them now. Oh, at dang. All. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that's the way it happens sometimes. Sometimes there are people that are in your life for a season, uh, for a reason, and sometimes for eternity. So you just gotta really like, you know, it's my trial and error. If they don't work out for you, there will be somebody that will understand your corny jokes. This girl, <laughs> I tell you she's corny. Uh, Y'all already know though, come on now. Like, let's be honest, everybody knows how corny I am. Y'all need to hear a joke? No, 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 but I should saying, people are there for a reason. I had a best friend for the longest time, we're not friends. And it's okay, you know, it's okay. People move on, you outgrow people. Yeah, it's very sad because throughout that friendship, you were thinking of the future, how your kids are yeah. gonna be friends and all that, but. Life, life, life is life, though. You should not be making us at 4.0, like, what are you doing? Mistakes happen, though. Especially your freshman year, you kind of yeah. get caught up in a lot. Like, for me, my advisor didn't care about me. And, uh, yeah, they made me take biology and chemistry at the same time. Yeah. But you two, you should have known. I didn't know. They don't really care. They're just put there to, like, get their check. So whatever they tell you, um, you know, you're usually supposed to listen to it. I didn't know that the advisors that were actually there were not supposed to be there for biology majors. Dang, you're supposed to go to a STEM advisor. You probably went to. Well, I went to the advisor that they sent me to, but they just gave everybody the same, same. advisor. So no. they told me if I wanted to graduate on time, that I'd have to take biology and chemistry at the same time. That's not true at all. So that's yeah. so sad. Rule of thumb: Don't look for your advisors as the only source of information. Look to your parents. If they yeah. went to college, look to your parents. And you need to do your own research. Literally. Pull up your degree audit and you'll know what you need to take. Mm -hmm. That's what I do now. Exactly, and plan your schedule accordingly. Like me, I came from a community college, so basically I had to figure out where I'm trying to transfer, what prerequisites do I need to take to mm -hmm. get into the program I wanted, and that's what I did. I didn't seek for any advisor. That's exactly. what you guys need to take charge. You need to take the wheel because your advisor is not your, it's not your mommy, it's not your dad. Jesus, take the wheel. Don't get lost in the sauce. Don't get lost in the sauce, baby. Don't drown in the clump, baby. It's not. It's not going to do anything. It's not healthy. It's not. And people, I feel like people get so caught up in trying to build a reputation for themselves and trying to do this. I promise you, if you're involved, you're going to have a reputation. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah. Like, 
if you get involved in uh, organizations and activities on campus, like regardless, people are gonna know you from that, and that's a better reputation to have than to be the one that's going to all these parties. Hey, you said, oh, you know, shake that ass at the party, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, but she can turn up. Uh, you don't wanna have that kind of reputation. Get involved on campus, that's the best way to get a reputation on campus rather than being the one that's turning up at every party. Because exactly. I'm not gonna lie, freshmen make that mistake. Especially Bad. people, like for example, Bad. my parents are very, very strict, so I didn't get to go out at all. So you went wild. I didn't go wild, but I was like going to parties every weekend yeah. my, my freshman year. I was. I um, second semester, that changed because I was like, yo, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. You have I'm to tired. buckle down and yeah. get serious. Uh, college is not about partying, and if you really haven't not. partied until college, I feel bad for you because Same. you're getting the first taste. I've done enough partying even before college, when I was still in high school, I was going to parties with my brother and his friends. Like, it's not, it's not a teen. It's not a teen, you know? Big man's teen, it's not a teen. It's really nothing like you're missing out on. You're like, really not. Like, you know, it's good to go to parties every now and then, but not like every single well, night. Nice. It's not, it's not necessary. So, I mean, you know, and then let's talk about clout. Clout. Is it by force? Is it by force? Just like you know, getting into a lot of like different trends because they would like to see exactly. themselves as other, you know, how, how they see other people that they admire going into college. Exactly. It's not that serious. It's not by force. No. And if cloud is not paying your bills, why are you searching for it? Favor. If you want to be known, be known on campus for being involved in organizations. Be known for having a good reputation. Don't be known for being fast and being in every single party, you know? Uh, it's not by force. Boys. Ooh. Boys. Ooh. Boys. I'm gonna just say boys. this, yo. A's before bays, 4.0's before hoes. That's so true. Don't get caught up on Mr. Nice Guy. Don't get caught no, up on No, they're Mr. not nice either. They're not nice. My friend, don't let them don't let them fool Who you. you because all. fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on me again. <laughs> fool me thrice, shame on me again. I'm just stupid, eh? <laughs> very dense. Like, don't be very dense. Bro, you don't wanna... like, I promise you, it's a one in a million chance that you're gonna have a college sweetheart. Like, don't. Oh, yes. Yeah. Say it again. Don't go looking for no niggas. And the thing is, that's where a lot of our parents met each other. It was in university and through school. But. I promise you the right person will come, so don't force it. Whether you're a guy or a girl, don't force it. Yeah. Like, God, I am a true believer in love and first sight. God will actually show you that person that you're supposed to be That's with. True. I, I believe that. That's, you know, I'm a firm believer in that. Um, I mean, if you... If it, but put your studies first, though. Because people, people get in college, they think it's supposed to be, mm, I'm supposed to be all cooped up in my twin size bed in the dorm all day, every day. No, what? You people are cuddling on top of each other. Bro, like, it's not, it's not, uh uh. It's not healthy for your mental either. Because, exactly. like, what's to say that, you know, people mess around with the, uh, other people and, you know, end up breaking your heart? Exactly. Then you move on to the next person. They mess around with other people, end up breaking your heart again, and the cycle goes on, on and, and on. And you don't it's want just, that. It's not healthy. So. And then the drama starts to affect your schoolwork. Like what? Hunt tea. No, you don't, don't want, want that. Person. And then what will you not tell your parents? Ha! I failed this semester. I'm on academic probation I because I was messing with, with this boy. Haraldo? Uh, no, Olaolu. <laughs> Olaolu. Like you don't Olau want that. You don't want that. <laughs> Stay away from the Yerba demons as well. Stay no, away. No, they're not demons. They are. Ah, Stay they're away. Then I love all my Yerba men out there. I love you all. I don't love you all. All my Yerba men out there. I love you. All my house are men out there. I love you. You know, I'm single here all my life, man. I'm just kidding. I'm on a nigga hiatus right now. Oh my god. Don't worry. When they come for her, she'll be doing shine eye, shine eye, shine eye, like touch life. I don't come for them. Yes, let them come to you. That's another yeah. thing. Don't go chasing boys. No, it's not cute. It's not a good look. Just stop. Just stop. Don't shoot your shot, shot. Don't shoot. I did a whole thread on it. If you need to see it, hit me up. The link will be down below. No for it. If you want to see it, go to my Twitter. Bro. Yeah, follow her. Yeah. But yeah, that's all we have for you guys today. Please, I hope this helped you in the slightest. I Wait. know it was short. What? You might do a part two, who knows, in the future. I'm about to say you're leaving. I know, I am leaving next week. No, this week, on Sunday. Oh, shut up. I'll be out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see any more videos with Cinderella OG, request down below. 
Thank you for coming on to my channel. It's nothing, shy, you know. I'm over here for you, man. Yeah. Everybody go subscribe to my girl, I'm Rachi, yeah, you know. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh my subscribe god. Subscribe to Wifey. And if you'd like to follow Cindy Rolo G, all her information will be down below. Go it's check out her nice. channel. I'm on that hoe. I'm in there. Check me out too, you know. I'm I deleted all the videos with her in it. I'm just kidding. <gasps> Goodbye guys!